Hi guys, Janice King here. Um, I'm checking in today because I thought I'd make a different kind of video. Now normally when I make these videos I'm talking about different sorts of tarot cards, I'm talking about readings that I've that I've done for us all across the month, but I wanted this time to talk about my start in tarot. Maybe it'll help you on your journey a little bit. You know, sometimes we go through periods in life where things just seem to fall apart monumentally. Everything just hits the deck. In tarot, we might call that a tower moment, where basically it's almost like the very ground we stand on has disappeared. Now, that happened to me about 18 years ago, and that's what, um, that's what really brought me into tarot. Now, I come from a family that was quite used to esoteric stuff. My aunt used to read playing cards. It's called catamancy. So we were used to the psychic side of things. And, um, and I was told when I was about 20 that maybe I should go into training. I was encouraged to, to do that, but I, I didn't want to. I pushed that um, aside and I wanted to find my own way. And so so I tried to do that and it was a bit of a struggle, I have to admit, it was always a struggle. And I got to the point where I was, I, I, I'd been pushing and pushing and pushing so hard and I felt like I was perhaps for the first time ever really getting somewhere in the field that I, that I wanted to work in. And so I put my all into this and gave it everything I had and then one day um there had been a little bit of a build up but it was still a huge shock within 48 hours everything hit the deck the the person that i was managing um in the in the music business um flipped and um there was stuff going on in my own personal life as well so within a 48 hour period everything hit the deck my business went my marriage went, we lost our house, it just, everything just, just went and it, it, all of that started over a 48 hour period. My life, as I knew it, collapsed. Now, I had been across all of that time working in energy and, and meditating and um, trying to connect to my guides. And I was resolutely unable to do so and I couldn't understand why it felt like everybody else had guides right so maybe I didn't or maybe mine had gone off on an extended holiday somewhere and just go well she's fine we'll just leave her to it she seems like she's you know she's she knows what she wants to do and it doesn't include us so they they'd obviously they appeared to me to have disappeared i couldn't reach them and and i was i was meditating and meditating and trying and trying and nothing seemed to make any difference and i was in a pretty awful state by this time extremely depressed so um one day though i did a, i did a, a, a meditation to reach spirit guides um which is something i do with with my clients now as well and i found myself in the meditation sitting on a bench and there were flat fields either side and there was a, a wood in the distance there and I sat on this bench and the idea was you sit on the bench and you wait for your guide or a guide to join you and out of the wood ran a little boy and he was about eight years old and he had kind of sandy hair and he was he was lightly tanned he had golden skin he was wearing shorts and a striped t-shirt and he had bare feet and his feet were sort of dusty and he was blind his eyes were sealed shut it didn't seem to matter he didn't wasn't an issue at all it just was a thing I noticed and he ran up to me like and he jumped onto the bench seat and he was kicking his legs like like little boys do full of full of pent up energy and I said oh uh hello are you my guide and he shook his head violently and he handed me a white stone egg and this white stone egg was it was like um you know that sort of soapstone onyx it's, it was pure white and in this egg was carved the shape of a sleeping white bird it was really simple but really beautiful and it was obvious what it was and i said to him oh it's, it's a white dove 
and he nodded his head really like enthusiastically got off the seat and ran back to the woods i went okay i mean great but guys what anyway came out of the meditation had absolutely no idea what to do with that it was just what it was and then after that for the next three four weeks crickets nothing again ah it was really frustrating and disappointing anyway fast forward to just before christmas we were um wandering around camden market just as a thing to do and i looked up and i saw this shop um up on the mezzanine in camden market called rainbow visions maybe some of you will remember that shop and um, in the shop, there were the words, there was the word tarot readings in the window. So I thought, oh, tarot readings. Oh, that's interesting. I wonder, I wonder, maybe that's something that I should look at. So I walked up to the shop. I like a bit of a hippie shop. And uh, out back was this chap sitting there with long white robes, long hair, and he was obviously reading cards. So I walked into the shop and said to the guy behind the counter, oh, hello, I'd, I'd like to ask about a tarot reading, please. And he said, yes, OK, you'll need to speak to White Dove. No, 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 no. Oh, really? White Dove? I said, OK, I'll book a reading with White Dove. I think probably I do need to speak to White Dove. So I did have a reading with White Dove, who I'm still connected with on um, Facebook. And he gave me this projection over the next three years. He told me what was going on in my life energetically. He told me that I was being moved off the path that I was on to a new path, to which I said, no, I refuse. I want my old path back. I don't want to do this. I refuse. I refuse to participate. And he went, well, and nevertheless, here we are. And it's going to be really, really, really hard over the next three years. But you are going to have angels along the path that are going to support you and you're going to find your way to this new path now is not the time for you to know what that is and he also told me to go and um become attuned to reiki because i would need that healing energy and um he told me a lot of other stuff as well some personal stuff but that was the crux of it and so I decided that I would find my own set of tarot cards. White Dove was reading with Thoth and still does, I think. And I went and got a pack of Rider Waite cards and started, oh, that's Flynn, started to learn um, myself. And that is what brought me to the path that I'm on now. I resisted it for almost the whole of my life, from when I was 20 to when I was literally press ganged into action. And so if we can be open and to let go of our own ego and our own agenda, then we can allow spirit and life to guide us in a way that is actually going to bring us to somewhere where we're going to be enormously more happy. <laughs> That was terrible English, wasn't it? Enormously more happy. Um, much, much happier. I'm happier. I'm more successful. My marriage is back together and we have a, a, a wonderful life. And I'm so happy and grateful for the fact that they took me in hand and have done over the over the over the period. They've they've basically got quite firm. <laughs> with me and quite right too because I thought I knew best I thought my ego was very clear about what I wanted to do and um, basically it wasn't working and so when they got involved they took me somewhere much better so if you're going through a really really hard time I invite you to consider that perhaps life as you have decided it should be is perhaps not working and if you could open yourself up to new alternatives or new versions of life that perhaps you could never imagine but you could be shown given some time then 
actually you can find your way to a new future which is remarkable and better than you could ever have hoped for. So I hope that is interesting and I hope you've enjoyed my little story and I will see you again soon. Bye bye.